Mike, obviously a, a three-one defeat in pre-season here to, to League One Sunderland. Overall, what were your, your thoughts on the performance? I thought there was a lot of positives. Um, we obviously had a few trialists in that have done very well. Uh, really impressed. And I thought first off, yeah, we matched them. They they obviously had the the lion's share of the possession, but in terms of uh, clear cut chances, I thought well, we had the better of them. Um, but yeah, no, I thought it was a really good exercise. I thought the lads uh, responded really well. And first off, we we protected the areas of the pitch that we needed to. Um, and on the ball, I think probably a handful of times. Um, what made the difference was our decision making. There's a couple of times where we could have played the simple pass and we've tried to, to cut through their defence too quickly and give the ball away cheaply. Um, and that might have been the difference. Well, I see it was a, a very strong Sunderland side named a lot of first team players here and you, you know, contested well with them in part of the game. So was that pleasing for you to see that you've got that in your locker to like say, contest with a League One side like Sunderland? I think we know we've got that in the locker. I think. Um, what really uh, I think we take from the game, and I suppose our lads as well, we'll be impressed by how 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 well they do the basics, just relentless. And I think that was the um, that was a big factor in today. You could see from from the first whistle, regardless of whether they were on top, they had possession, or you know they were pressing the basics, the fundamentals. And then you see you know, players like Max Power coming on and just dictating play, tempo, keeping everyone's levels high. And that, that level of professionalism, you know, I really enjoy watching that. So, um, yeah, it was like I said, a really good run out, loads of positive things, but a lot of things to work on. And just like there was on Tuesday, you had a, a number of trialists for you to evaluate during the game. Did you feel like you got a, a better of idea of how they were doing after today's game? Yeah, of course, they, you know, a few of them, we had a lad who's just come in today, which is it's difficult, you know, but um, I'd like to see more of them. But yeah, the lads that have been with us over the last week or so, um, yeah, have really impressed us. So we're going to be touching base with them this week and um, looking, uh, looking forward to coming back after the break. And unfortunately, of course, early on, JJ was forced off with a bit of an injury, which definitely isn't what you want to see in pre-season. But do you have any kind of idea on, on how he's doing and whether that's a serious thing or just something minor? Yeah, well, I think it's a knock. So hopefully we'll see how it settles down in the next 48 hours. But I think um, knowing it's just a knock, it should settle and he'll be all right for when we return. And of course, you're going into a little bit of a break now before you do have the next game against Shields in the start of September. So what are you mainly looking to do over this break to get yourselves back and ready for that game? Uh, well, yeah, me and me and Buston and Chris have got a lot of work to do, um, a lot of preparation, um, and the lads, you know, I still want them as much as there's a bit of mental downtime. We'll be um, putting on a f lot of physical sessions for them because when we come back, we want to hit the ground running, and um, it's going to be a tough week when we come back. So yeah, there's still you know loads to work on, um, but you know the lads have earned a, a good break and say a bit of downtime, and everyone's looking forward to uh, to that.